what you talking about now, Saint? I don't know, but you're going to get some nuggets out of it, though. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn that bell on. There's a new video series dropping every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a random jam session whenever I'm in my bag. You do not want to miss out. Also, be sure to check out my books, man. The link's in the description below right along with my vegan class if you're trying to go plant-based and stay plant-based. I'm telling you, it works. Oh, and lastly, be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore just underscore scene underscore. The nuggets I don't put over here, I put over there, so you can always get me when you need me but you ain't really coming for all of that peace love knowledge and freedom i mean so you have to figure out to, to figure out what your gift is you have to start from the skills that you naturally have that are good that you're good at then from those skills go back to your childhood you feel me go back to your childhood to where you exhibited those things on a regular basis it's a continual thing that you exhibited these skills like you feel what i'm saying i was writing all of my fucking life all of my life Second grade, every week I had to do a book report, so I had to read, you feel what I'm saying? But that kept my words up, and it's like, I would put things together, and it's like, when I wanted to say something, I knew, okay, this word don't fit, this, like, I knew that shit, you feel me? I was, uh, I was writing all of my life, you feel what I'm saying? I was writing all of my life, that was a skill that was, that was you know, continually there, you feel what I'm saying? So then I, I seen how it kept re, uh, re, uh, resurfacing in my life to allow me to see when it became a talent. And then backtrack to say, hey, this is my gift. So we all gifted. We all gifted. But it's hard to find your gift because you think your skill is a gift. But your skill isn't a gift. Your skill is just a basic extension of that shit. You take your skill to find your talent. You take your talent to find your gift. You take your gift to change the world. You feel me? Take your gift to change the world. And that's where that's where that self-mastery comes in. Because like I said, you always have to still return back to the source, to the roots. You feel what I'm saying? You have to return to the roots. You know, like I said, my other gifts, I can't reveal those right now. I can't. But it's, you, you should be able to see what they are, you know, just from my interpretations of, of life. And once you understand every skill that you have, every talent that you have, and every gift that you have, then you merge all your gifts together. When you merge your gifts together, man, that shit is some beautiful shit. And when you start to bring it back and um, bring them all together, that's when you uh, get your gift. That's when you get your purpose for the world. You know what I'm saying? That's when you get your purpose for the world. So your purpose, your your individual purpose is now that's the fourth, that's the fourth stage up. So you get your skills, your talent, your gift, and then your gift. Once you bring all of your gifts together, when you figure out what each one of them are, you find what your purpose is. You find what your purpose is for life. And the moment you find your purpose for life, that's shit gets so easy. Now I ain't gonna say it gets easy. It gets simple. It gets simple on the strength that like easy means there's no work. Simple means that you put in enough work to make it uh, uh, a reality that doesn't really need like much effort into it. You feel what I'm saying? So that self mastery has to lead to that point. You know, that's the whole purpose of master yourself. You feel what I'm saying? So once you define, once you once you once you know what your gift is, you know, like I said, some people have one, some people have multiple. It doesn't matter, but you're given at least one gift. You know, when you find that, that's how you can feel your purpose. That's how you can feel your purpose for this world and you can uh, determine like what you're here for. You know, unquestionable. Like you don't even have to worry about it anymore. You know what you're here for. Then you cater everything to that. You feel what I'm saying? So after the self mastery, you find your gifts, you find your purpose. Now you build your career around your purpose. You feel what I'm saying? You know, in our in our in our inability to understand who we are. That's how we have to be taught where to go, you know, because people, people tell us which way we should go for them for ourselves based off of what they know about us, you know, and that becomes problematic. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes because people get like mad when you don't want to take their advice. I don't have to take your fucking advice, especially when I know who I am. But see, if you if they if, it's like people feel like they know you better than you do or they should, you know what I'm saying? And that's where that's where uh, that's where a lot of bullshit happens. You know, I had an experience one time where, you know, I have a, I have a bachelor's degree in forensic biology, right? So, uh, I was, I had met somebody who was telling me that I should, you know, apply to this university for uh, something in, in forensics. This is after I had pretty much found my purpose for real, for real. I just said, you know, I'm done with all of this other stuff. But that, he was like, he's, he told me, he said, yo, you should apply for this. I said, I'm not going back to school anymore. I'm not doing that anymore. Oh, I just think y'all should. I know what you think, but that's not what I'm doing anymore. Why not? Like, you, you, it'll be good for you. You can get, I'm not doing that shit anymore. That's not for me. 
that's for you what that's for you through what you envision for me if you had the skills that I had if you had the, the knowledge base that I had if you had the understanding of life about the way, about me the way that I have you feel like this is what you would be doing and you wouldn't you know one of my homies told me like years ago you know somebody had said a comment that was like Yo, if I were you I would have do it I would have did this he said no you wouldn't he said, if you were me, you would still be having this exact same conversation that I'm having right now because I'm still going to be the same motherfucker. I said, God damn, you're right. You're right.